Most of us think of the American Civil War beginning in April 1861 at Fort Sumter, but there are some who will argue that the real war began many years earlier, right here in the great state of Kansas. Kansas was organized as a territory in 1854 under the Kansas-Nebraska Act. With this act, Congress was essentially passing the buck on whether these territories would enter the United States as a free or slave state. That decision would be made at the ballot box by the residents themselves. Quickly, the rifle replaced the ballot box, and bloody fighting broke out in a time to be called Bleeding Kansas. Kansas ultimately joined the Union on January 29, 1861 as a free state, but by then, five southern states had left to join the Confederacy. Kansas contributed 20,000 to fight for the Union, 19 infantry regiments, and four batteries. Kansas Yankees saw action at such battles as Wilson's Creek, Vicksburg, Chickamauga, Franklin, and Nashville. And another thousand fought for the Confederacy fighting in Missouri. As evidence of our state's abolitionist leanings, Kansas also boasts the first unit of African-American men to see combat in the Civil War, the 1st Kansas Colored Infantry. Here in Kansas, we may not have had massive battles like those you're accustomed to in the East, but what we did have was guerrilla warfare, and it was rampant, and it was bloody. Many raids were waged across the border from Missouri by pro-Confederate guerrilla fighters, known as bushwhackers, such as William Quantrill, Bloody Bill Anderson, and a young Jesse James. And on the other side, many pro-Union Kansans also participated in the lawless bloodshed and looting. They were called Red Legs, or Jayhawkers. Kansas is probably best known for an infamous raid that took place just a month after the Great Battle at Gettysburg. In August 1863, concealed in blue uniforms, 400 Missouri guerrillas led by William Quantrill swooped into Lawrence, Kansas with a list of those to kill. Five hours later, as Quantrill and his men fade into the brush and go across the border into Missouri, over 160 men and boys lay dead. The Lawrence Massacre, as the event came to be known, shocked the nation. One of the only Civil War battles to take place between uniformed troops in the state of Kansas took place right here at the Battle of Mine Creek in October 1864. If you visit Kansas today or catch a game on TV, you can still see the ancient border rivalry that helped spark the Civil War. If you see the Kansas Jayhawks or the Missouri Tigers playing on a collegiate field or court, you're seeing a game that we still call the Border War.